Corey Feldman has been a popular guest on The Masked Singer for years, but it wasn't until season 11 that he finally made his debut on the show, they've been talking about me since the show began, Feldman, 52, joked to What's the Gossip after he was eliminated during the Wednesday, May 1, episode of the Fox competition series. I literally consider it an annual thing now that whenever that new season premieres, I know that means people are going to be texting and calling me and it's going to be in the press and people saying, oh, is it Corey? Is it Corey? So I guess the good news is we've officially squashed that. I've done it. I've been there, and now, we can move on, folks, Feldman, who hid his identity as the seal, was flattered that the panelists kept thinking of him, and he had a blast getting in the cloak and dagger spirit of the show you walk around with these cloaked hoodie sweaters on and stuff, he explained. It's all very capra-ish. You feel like Inspector Clouseau is gonna pop out at any moment. They do their diligence to make sure that people have no idea who anybody else is on the location at the set, Feldman had to face off against the Beats during Wednesday's episode, which he points out was kind of an unfair draw, you had two amazing singers and they're singing this quintessential singer's song. It's the song all singers sing, he said, referencing the duo's rendition of One Moment in Time by Whitney Houston. It was very tricky to try and do anything that was going to come close to their performance. Following his stint on The Masked Singer, Feldman is gearing up for the premiere of his movie The Birthday, which was filmed 20 years ago but hasn't ever had a theatrical release in the United States, this is the performance I've been waiting for you to see, he said of the film, which was directed by Eugenio Mira. When I made it, I said, okay, this is my tour de force, if you will. This is the one that proves to everybody, hey, guess what, I didn't lose my chops as a kid. I'm still a quality actor and I take my job seriously. Point one of the film's biggest supporters is Jordan Peele, who's been a Feldman fan since way back. They met in 2022 at the premiere of Peele's movie Nope and Exchange Numbers, and eventually, Feldman told him about the birthday. Peel, 45, came over to Feldman's house to watch the film and now the birthday is coming to theaters this fall that I can't wait for my fans in the world at large to get to see it, Feldman said. It's very weird, very macabre, very twisted and lots of fun, thank you, you have successfully subscribed, subscribe to newsletter subscribe by signing up, I agree to the terms and privacy policy and to receive emails from what's the gossip deal of the day act fast this Stanley Ice Flow Tumblr is on sale. View deal check our latest news in Google News follow us check our latest news in Apple News follow us you have successfully subscribed by signing up i agree to the terms and privacy policy and to receive emails from what's the gossip check our latest news in Google News check our latest news in Apple News feldman aficionados can also catch him on tour this summer with limp biscuit as an opening act on the band's loserville tour what a shot in the arm i am so excited he told us it's just so exciting to do an arena tour finally after all these years. So it's a lot to look forward to. It's a good year, The Masked Singer airs on Fox Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time.